In this data, what we can see, it has two rows representing single record. For example, the very first one will be name, gender. Meanwhile, the second one will be the email and mobile. Typically, people encounter this kind of data. They will do it manually. It will be something like this. They will select the second row, cut and paste to the next one, and cut and paste and cut and paste it will take a while to go through like this this is counterproductive when we are able to use excel effectively the reason why people are doing all these things because whenever they want to do filtering they will be easier for them for example if i maintain the structure in this way i want to filter those gender the male so i just turn on the filter and i see i want to have an m enter i'm only able to see the name i will not able to see their email and mobile number so therefore people will go through the step just now by moving the next row to up and moving the next row and go up if you're using excel we are able to get this thing done easily now we are seeing two screen side by side the one on the right is the final result where we want to have it to be in this way where two rows records are representing in a single row and meanwhile the data on the left is the raw data where we maintain as it is if i do any changes on data on the left i can immediately ask excel to perform the work for us to prepare the data in the way we want as per the table on the right. Let's see, I want to do some changes. Instead of, I change the name, I call it, this is Excel Seafood, gender is in M, and this is the email, Excel at yxl.com. And the phone number will be 011. Okay, I just put some testing. Okay. 012, 123, 123. Okay, make it easy. I have got this thing done. And I go to the table on the right. I just need to right click and refresh. Ta da! That's it. That is so simple. We are able to get our job done easily.